Hey guys, Cha Chan here, or just the same person. Today's video I have a few things to show you, but the main event is unboxing an anime figure. You know from the title who it is. It is this Gauma from Pop Up Parade um I forget the name of the anime, it's like SSSS Gundam, I think. I don't know the anime, but anyway. First of all, let me show you the other things that I got because uh I found some exciting things in the charity shop. Well, the first two things aren't really that exciting. They are these plushies, which I just thought were really cute. They were 50p each, I couldn't say no. Little dinosaur, Stegosaurus, and this beanie baby. This is Vegas the Zebra, I believe he's a zebra. I mean, he's stripy. Um, I like his colours, I think he's cute, so I got him. He needs to go in the washing machine though, so that's the next job after filming this video. Put him in the washing machine. But the most exciting find in the charity shop was these. These are Miraculous Ladybug Burger King toys. And uh, this is Rena Rouge. I'm not really like terribly excited about finding her because I wasn't like searching for her, but I'm happy to have her. So uh, she's in a bit of a beaten up condition. Her face doesn't really close properly anymore, but there she is. The one I was most excited for was Shenua because I had been looking for him and I gave up looking for him because he was in America for like like, you know, cheap, like five dollars, five pounds, but then the postage to the UK was like 40 pounds, like, no, it's not worth it for a little Burger King toy. <laughs> but, lo and behold, yesterday I found him for 50p in a charity shop, so I'd, I'd given up hopes, but there he is, I found him. I already had Ladybug from a previous eBay purchase a few years ago, so I already have Ladybug, but now I have both of them, yay! Alright, that was all the charity shop stuff. The only other thing I got yesterday was some mandolin strings because uh, I'm restoring an old mandolin that we have, so new strings for that. Otherwise, let's get opening the anime figure. First of all, let's talk about this figure and why I wanted to get him but didn't. <laughs> First of all, a bit of background about me and this anime figure. So, I don't know who this character is. I know his name is Galma. I know he's from a Gundam anime. And when this figure released, I was like, oh, that looks so cool, but I can't justify spending like 40-ish pounds on a character I don't know. So I didn't get him. I saw him in Forbidden Planet a couple of months later. Well, a few months later, I should say. And he was like 30 pounds. So I was like, ugh, tempting, but like, I, I still don't know the character. He's not worth it. But a few more months later, I'm back in Newcastle where I'd seen him before. And he's on sale for £10, 9.99. I couldn't say no. So here he is, I have him, finally. Let's unbox him, because uh, I'm really excited. So as I said, I didn't want to buy him because he was expensive at first. He was. This guy has obviously been reduced a lot, because when I saw him originally in Forbidden Planet, the first time he was £30, and then he's obviously gone down to £23, and then finally, £10, so I don't think I could get a better deal on a pop-up parade, like, an this is an official product, so I don't think that's too bad. <laughs> anyway, let's open him. Do we need some scalpel assistance? I think we do. This might be a quick unboxing, I mean, not sure how much there is to really talk about. I don't know the character, I just think he looks cool. Alright, I have all of those tapes cut, I can open the box and slide out the blister packet. There is the uh, inside of the box, nothing much to report on. This is an official Good Smile product, you've got the holographic there. And you'd hope it was official since it was in a official uh, Forbidden Planet shop, and I don't think they stock bootlegs. Anyway. Here we go, opening the blister packet. Oh, it's stiff. <laughs> Can I get it? Jesus Christ, why is it so... I think it's taped at the top, isn't it? It's taped at the top. I didn't notice. Slice that tape as well. And is there any more tape that I'm missing? Okay, we should be able to open it now. There we go. Okay. 
is open. Uh, here's the base. I don't think this base is too bad considering other pop-up parade bases. I know everyone hates pop-up parade bases. I will admit sometimes the colour choice is a bit bad. Um, I think this one's alright. I think it would look good with a black base as well, maybe, but uh, the yellow is not too bad. I don't mind the pop-up parade bases since I like to put like smaller toys around my anime figures so I can just fill the base with other toys. <laughs> and here is Galma. Let's get him out of his little bag. And honestly, he looks really good. There is the tiniest bit of shading on his trousers, but I think that's it. I don't think there's really any more shading. There are some painted details on his bandage top. His hair looks better in the official, like, pre-order images. <laughs> so the prototype images, but that's, uh, you know, it's not too bad. I love how his shoes are glossy. I kind of wish the chain was also glossy, but, you know, it's alright. I think the shading on his eyes is a little bit too strong, but you know, it's alright. There's some paint scuffs here and there, but you know, it's a pop-up parade. That's about normal. Again, I don't know who this character is, but <laughs> I got his figure anyway because it was really cheap and I like the design. Anyway, let's get him in his base. So normally you do have to yank the legs a bit to force them into the base, but yeah, there we go. That wasn't too bad. There he is, in his base. Yeah, I quite like it. I don't think I could have done better. £10 for this anime figure? Very good. I saw that on eBay he was going for his like retail price of £35-£40, and sometimes even more than that. I've seen a couple listings for £80. I mean, personally I wouldn't pay £80 for this particular figure, but then again, I don't know the character, so maybe if I'd seen the anime and really liked the character, I might have. Uh, maybe I'll go and watch the anime now that I own this figure. I think with this character's design he'll fit in really well with my current collection. He's got the kind of colour palette that I really like. I think he'll look good next to my Yugi's. I have quite a few Yugi figures. <laughs> Quality wise, I would say he looks better than the Seto Kaiba pop-up parade which I did a video on before. I'd say he's on par with Dark Magician Girl in quality. The only other pop-up parades I own are the three Yu-Gi-Oh ones, so that's my comparison for pop-up parades. There's a bit of paint bubbling on his crop top thing, bandage shirt, but that's alright, don't really see it that much. And for £10, I really can't complain. <laughs> Fun fact, I bought this figure before I went into a meeting. <laughs> So I had a meeting in Newcastle, which is where the Forbidden Planet is, where I bought this, and I had time to kill before the meeting, so I went to a bit of a, a browsing adventure in Forbidden Planet. <laughs> and I got myself this figure. I was so excited when I saw him for £10. I was like, oh my gosh, it's that anime boy figure that I don't know who he is, but I really like the figure. But uh, now he's £10 and I can justify buying him. Yay! <laughs> So I showed up to this meeting with my Forbidden Planet bag, I was like, please excuse the bag. There was a really good deal in the anime shop, I couldn't pass it up. <laughs> Everyone found it quite funny, so it was good. I think my only two nitpicks with this figure compared to the prototype images is that the hair isn't quite as good as in the prototype images, but it's alright, it's not bad, it's just, it's a little bit prize figure-y. And also that this paint on his uh, ripped jeans it's a little bit not quite as clean as it could be. It's alright, but I wouldn't have paid £45 and received that paint job and been completely satisfied. I might have gone over it myself. But again, I paid £10 for this figure, so I'm not really that bothered. <laughs> and I love the gloss on his shoes. I think this figure would have benefited from a different coloured base. His shoes blend in with this yellow a little bit too much. I would have preferred maybe, I don't know, a pink base would have looked good, a, a bl dark navy blue one, a black one. Any colour but yellow would have maybe been a bit better. It does suit him, the yellow is one of his accent colours, so it does suit him, but it's just a little bit too blending in to his shoes. This figure translated really well with where the seam lines are placed, because they're easy to spot because I know where they are, but they are hidden quite well, so you don't, you know, you don't go, oh, there's a seam line, oh, there's a, a joining section. His joining section seam lines are on his shoulders, 
so his arms. Uh, and also there's one on his torso, like his midsection of his torso. Those are the two most glaringly obvious places where there are joins and seam lines. But otherwise, everything's quite well hidden. His hands are nice and clean, I don't see any scraggly plastic like there is on my Seto Kaiba figure. So that's nice. And I like how they've positioned his hand sort of in his pocket. There's actually a little divot for his thumb to sit in, so each figure will, should in theory, have the hand with the thumb hooked into the pocket, since there is a sculpted hole for it to go into. It reminds me of that anime figure from the artist, I think it was Saitom, that did the illustration. Anyway, whoever sculpted it, whichever manufacturer it, it was, the anime figure of the girl biting her glove from her hand, and a lot of people received theirs and it just didn't quite line up. I think they could have maybe countered that by doing something similar to this. I don't own that figure, by the way, I'm just saying it reminds me of it. <laughs> I think there might be a little bit of shading on his belly. Maybe a little bit, but it's not really noticeable. The plastic that they use for pop-up parades does reflect light in a way that means they don't need a lot of shading. None of the Yu-Gi-Oh! pop-up parades have shading, except Dark Magician Girl has a bit in her hair. But anyway, that's uh, me rambling about things. Honestly, I think I've rambled on quite enough. So, let me wrap this up, because I've rambled on quite enough. I'm sure I've put lots of B-roll on screen for you to see all the details of this figure. Anyway, would I recommend this figure to a fan of this show, which I don't know what the name of it is? But would I recommend the Gauma figure to a fan of Gauma or the show? I would say yes, this is a good figure, I like it. Would I have paid about 40-ish pounds for it, give or take? If I was a fan of the show, probably. I mean, that's how much I paid for each of my pop-up parade Yu-Gi-Oh figures, between like 35 and 40 pounds. And I think those all turned out pretty well. Each one I've seen on the shelf in Forbidden Planet has been quite well done. If you can pick up a pop-up parade in person like that, I recommend it, because then you can look in the box and go, you know what, that paint job looks good. Or you might see one and think, oh, Jesus Christ, that is the ugliest pop-up parade I've ever seen. <laughs> but this one, I think, turned out pretty well. Your only worry points would be how messy the paint is going to be on his bandages and on his ripped jean effect skin showing through. So to summarise, yes I do recommend him, watch out for messy paint, but overall he should be quite a nice figure for you if you like the show, or just like the design like me, because I really don't know who this is. He's just an anime boy to me. <laughs> Alright, I need to wrap this up, so thank you so much for watching, please do not hit the like button as that probably hurts, it's not very nice, so maybe shake his hand instead. With that being said, I hope to see you in the next video, and bye!